Welcome to the channel, and today we'll be discussing the Name Nate XS3, which is an integrated amplifier from Name, and it's, in a word, fantastic. And this was sent out to me, well, I technically intercepted it. It was uh, from one friend was selling it to another friend, and they allowed me to intercept in the middle and, and get a good listen experience with this. And I'm, I'm one, I'm jealous of my friend that's going to be receiving this and excited for them at the same time because it's lovely. And let's kind of dive into how I was using it. And kind of from there, we'll go into the sound and my normal kind of experience with this. So initially, I used it with my Corn Scalas and the Cord Hugo TT2. And <laughs> that was lovely. Just fantastic pairing. It really allowed for the subwoofers to really punch and the horn to just present the sound the way I like it. <laughs> and it was just uh, fantastic. I mean, I was even using it, uh, listening to movies and shows and that kind of thing with that setup, and it was really great. I'm not gonna lie, I probably listened to way too many Bluey episodes on Disney Plus with the daughter, but that being said, with the music I listened with, it was a joy. Uh, so then from there, I went and brought it upstairs to my office, and I paired it with and on my desk, it's sitting just kind of right here off the side, which is, this setup is, I really like this setup. Anyhow, going into it, I put it on the desk, I have it paired with my Fluence turntable and my Spring 3 KTE from Hollow Audio. Also the Kefs, <laughs> can't forget the Kefs. And I also was using the, uh, the headphone out with my different headphones, primarily the VC, VO, and H800. And that, this setup is my, I think, preferred use case for it all right here easy to get at and listen and it just it does everything i need it to do perfectly and i i'm going to miss it greatly when it's gone going into the sound of this uh, across the board on all the different systems i listened with the highs were just perfect like they just lovely sounding i never really came across any point in time where i felt like they were leaning into overly bright or anywhere even flirting with that there was i never had any sibilance with them as far as the amp was producing them obviously headphones and that kind of stuff can be their own little beast in that regard but as far as the amp goes i didn't i felt like it was it really controlled the highs really well and presented them the way i would like mids same story, we're getting Goldilocks level features here <laughs> in the sense of the sound signature. And just lovely mids. They they weren't overly rich. They were just kind of, they definitely were more on the warmer side. And in fact, the whole amp is, it, to me, was a little bit on the warmer side. And I really enjoyed the signature. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed the intimacy of the mids when it was a very vocal forward track. And just lovely, lovely sounding. And then the low end... And this is where it gets kind of interesting for me. The low end isn't like bloomy or boomy or over the top or anything like that. But because it's so well done, I felt myself engaging with it more or, or kind of focusing on it more. So it wasn't that it was bleeding in or being like overemphasized or being pushed up and forward more. It was more just that it was so well done that I was just like, I want, I, I kept seeking out my bass tracks, if that makes sense. I just, I wanted to listen to this with all of my headphones and speakers and my uh also with my this desk setup i also got in an svs little 3000 micro a little subwoofer and it this thing has a sp uh, speakers it has a subwoofer it has a speaker out of course but it has a subwoofer uh, out as well so you can put integrate it with the subwoofer as well and it excellent works great and it it really allowed the kefs to really focus on what they do best and that's just fantastic i'm really enjoying it and one of the things that it's kind of the trick for this that that this has an integrated is its phono stage which is for your turntable getting your vinyl on there and this is the new thing for this specific xs3 version of the nate and it's oh man it sounds so good with analog vinyl records like analog vinyl records it sounds so good with in analog with vinyl records uh just 
love love it. Like I've been listening to a lot of records with this, and in fact I've been starting to rebuild my vinyl collection. I'm wanting to get more into vinyl again, and this man really allows it to shine. Like it's just lovely the way they bring it forward, and it has kind of a little bit of a bass boost to it, so it doesn't sound so anemic in the low end with the records. Because sometimes different phonos can be, or phono preamps can sometimes be a little bit weak there in that in that region or range, and this really allows it to shine. So fantastic phono stage and that's one of the big things I'm going to miss them a lot from the not having this in place anymore going into the build of this it's your pretty standard fair build it's really high quality done aluminum case work the front plate is really nice it almost feels like glass the way that they did the polish on it and finish on it the uh the highlights that the way that they did the uh, name plates and then the buttons they have this the name the classic name green glow but it's done in a very well behaved way like it's not glaring it's not you know gar garish garish it's it's nice looking it's not bad at all it's really pretty looking and then the volume or potentiometer or volume knob however you want to say it easy to turn smooth well done and it also comes with a name remote that honestly the only thing i ever really used this for was volume control and that was usually when i was downstairs across sitting on the couch uh, listening to music that way and using the volume for that that's pretty much generally the only time i really use it because where i'm at here i can easily just reach across and turn the volume the way where, where i need it or want it so build pretty standard fare black box but high quality and well done the aesthetics kind of going back to that it's a black box with some green highlights and it's and then the the casework has like a texture to it which is really nice but it's at the end of the day this is meant to be in like a stack in for like a nice stereo system and it it looks good for that like it's not going to be some you know super artsy piece it's it has a job and it does it well and it looks good doing that very simple kind of like a tuxedo a very simple looks good looks elegant isn't going over the top so yeah that's building aesthetics and i think it could be hit or miss for anybody like always but to me I, I really like it i like the way it integrates and you could stack it with different things and for build it's solid i don't have any i can't imagine this thing being any major issues at all you could stack things on it the case is super solid also this thing has a headphone out and the headphone out is shockingly very good for it being a stereo uh, amplifier integrated amplifier it you know i was listening with my hd800s and it had this just lovely almost tube like sound like it brought the bass up it brought this nice engagement and these still can be a little bit bright but that's the h800 for you depending on the track but it it brought the engagement with that low end and just it, being able to have that be done so well it re reminded me of listening to these on a good tube amp which was excellent and then on to my most used headphone which would be the verite open and this pairing <laughs> super engaging it was on par with my listening sessions that i did with the corn scholars and the kefs where i would just lose time like it just disappeared i'd be supposed to be doing something a song would come on and the next thing i know it's 5 10 20 30 minutes an hour into the future and i'm now running behind <laughs> so yes uh, as far as the headphone out goes, it's not skimped upon, and that's part of the reason why I love it in this setup, because it is so good. So, things to be aware of, though, it is only quarter inch for that headphone uh, out. So, be aware of that. So, going into who is this for, right? Uh, to me, my personal preferred use case is in this setup, where we're at the desk, I can easily switch and throw on a vinyl record, and get that sweet analog sound. I can then, you know, vinyl's over, record's over, or if I want to listen to headphones, I can plug those in and go, or if I want to listen to my Koba streaming, or if, if you wanted to, if you had a CD player of some sort that could be integrated into this, you could do that. You know, streaming with Kobas, that's how I use it with my speakers, or same with the vinyl. Like, being able to switch between all of those on the fly is awesome. And then when you plug in the headphones, it automatically switches over to the headphones, and you it doesn't play on one or the it plays only on one not the other so it doesn't play both at the same time which was also just it's just these nice quality of life kind of deals and for me my workflow my or audio listening flow even this 
just perfect for this setup. That being said, another group of people, which I think is the main use case for this, would be a proper 2.0, 2.1 listening setup. Um, and this shines there. Like downstairs in the living room with the corn scholars was just lovely. I, I'm enamored if it wasn't obvious yet. Like, like this is one of those products that definitely has me kind of wanting more. Like, and I'm, I'm bummed to see it go. I'm excited for my friend to get it, but I'm bummed to see it go. And, and one of the big shining things for me as well was that phono pre-out or phono stage. The phono stage is ugh, just lovely. It, it brings this uh, nice bass engagement where sometimes I've had some phonos that for the vinyl to your amplifier where they just, they kind of almost were anemic a little bit where the low end was just, it, it was there. It was almost like the HD 800 kind of deal, right? If you don't have the right setup, the, the bass or low end gets real anemic and just kind of, it's just, it's like punching you, but it's like this kind of, it's like flicking in the forehead. Whereas this was like the phono, it just, it, it just sounded lovely. It just really well done, really impressed. So yeah, it's definitely one of those, you know, lovely, lovely amps that I now kind of need <laughs> in my setup and I will be looking for a deal on one down the road. Yeah, this thing has me enamored. It's fantastic. It's just a lovely bit of kit. I look forward to getting one in in the future. Like it's just, yeah, I'm enamored. I can't, <laughs> it's, it's uh, yeah, a little head over heels a bit with it, especially with that phono stage and getting the vinyl right here and it being able to easily get it all set up and just plug right in and go yeah fantastic so yeah and with that i will let you all have the rest of your day week whatever back and i will see you all on the next one cheers And then the volume knob, I don't know, potentiometer, however you want to say it, is easily to... <clears throat> and...